Hey guys, I'm Jenna and this is my very first DIY home decor video. I've made three homewares pieces that I'm really excited to show you. And I would have to say, even though this is the first time I've done this style of video, it's the one that I have definitely enjoyed the most. I really hope that you will enjoy it just as much. And if you do, make sure you do give the video a thumbs up because that will let me know. Okay, so the day before I'm just spray painting these Kmart vases. I decided just to show you one, but I'm using a matte white spray paint from Rust-Oleum and just making sure that I completely coat that. Now that the vase is dry, I'm actually going to paint spots just like this anthropology vase. That's where I got my inspiration from. And I'm using a paintbrush, but I'm actually using the back end to create my little spots. I find that the back of the paintbrush gives a more rounded shape, but it's still not too perfect. And as I was going, I actually found that it was a lot easier to lift up the vase and do the spots down the bottom first and leave the top part until last so I still had somewhere to hold on to. And I just continued this spotted pattern until the vase was completely covered. And on to my second DIY now. I just used this plain white IKEA cushion cover. My inspiration was this Urban Outfitters like face cushion cover but also this image from Shutterstock which is what I copied and for some reason I added a second eye because I thought it didn't look quite right. And just measuring my wool, always cut a little bit more than you need. And then you'll see that I use a very small paintbrush and I'm just using clear craft glue to stick this down as well. I'm using the brush end to put the glue on and then I'm using the back end of the brush as well just to stick it down so that my fingers don't get covered in glue. And then when it comes to a pointy bit, I cut the piece of wool and then join it on again. And I just find that it gives much more of a sharper point than if I were to try and bend the wool. Just adding the eyelashes and you'll notice that I was just painting a little bit of extra craft glue on the ends of the wool as well just to stick those down nice and secure. And here I am trying to make that second eye work. And 
no matter what I tried, it just didn't seem to look quite right. And you'll see here that I make a few attempts and I think it's fine to try different things and see if they'll work and make it individual. But it's also okay if you make mistakes, normally you can fix them. Or you can just start again. So you'll see I tried a few different shapes with the eye and I also tried it with eyelashes. And here I was trying to make it symmetrical with the other side. And in the end I took it off and I actually just went and washed it with some detergent and of course. And my third and final DIY is this bath mat. I actually got my inspiration from the Moroccan style. Make sure that you get one that doesn't have a rubber backing. And I just used some wool and a carpet needle. It was really difficult to thread the wool on so I discovered that if I used longer pieces I wouldn't have to thread it through so many times and that really worked. So just make sure that you start from the back and pull the wool all the way through until it's nice and secure. And then I thread the needle back in. I left about a one centimeter gap for each time I threaded the needle through and that seemed to be the perfect size. I did this on each spot about four to five times and as you will see I tried to place them randomly because I really wanted it to have that handmade look like the Moroccan style mat. And just securing it by uh, threading underneath the wool and wrapping it around and then threading the needle back through and tying off a knot. And then I cut it off and use the same thread again. And for each spot, I just go through the exact same process and try and spread them randomly across the entire mat until I achieve the desired look. Also guys, this needle is really sharp, so when you're pushing it back through, just make sure that your fingers are out of the way so you don't accidentally stab them. And the other thing that I did to achieve this effect with each dot is I didn't pull the thread all the way back through. 
so it kind of gave it a bit of a 3D tufted look which is the look that I was going for guys I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video let me know which DIY was your favorite and if you enjoyed watching this video as always make sure that you give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already I would love to have you here so make sure you hit that subscribe button and also the bell notification to make sure that you're notified every time that I post a new video thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next week bye